Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome back to part 17 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. We've got a lot to do so let's jump right into it. As you recall, Mikeu has been kidnapped. And now we need to venture into these caves and get her back. And the person we find is some nasty looking piece of work. In fact, there are loads of bad guys down here. In fact, these are guys so bad that you can tell they're bad guys just by the way they walk around looking bad. <laughs> For instance, this guy. His name is Guy with Evil Looking Eyes. Alright, so he's surprised we really came, but it's just like his boss said. And we're a bunch of idiots for coming. His boss Alright, all of you shut up. Don't care about anything you got to say, just pony up Mikeu and do it quick. <laughs> Alright. They aren't gonna hand her over, but if they don't, Fia says she's gonna visit heavenly punishment upon them. Yeah, he's not taking her seriously. Oh, they're kind of using her as a hostage then. Alright, fuel was all talk. Now she's gonna ask Avaro for help. Yeah, Avaro will figure this out in no time. Yeah, Alright, first thing. Avaro doesn't observe Mikeu in the vicinity, so she must be somewhere else. Locked up somewhere else. Okay, let's go find her. But... Yeah, that's what Avaro wants to do. But these guys won't let them do it that so easily. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, he agrees with Avaro. We're not going to let you go search for her. In fact, we're going to kill you right here. Oh, now he let slip that apparently she's already been eaten by monsters. She was just bait to get us to come. Now that we're here, those guys don't need her anymore. That's right. They didn't actually need to keep her alive any longer than that. So you go to that. Yeah, thanks a lot for coming, Stooges. But from the way he said it, they only abandoned her to the monsters just now. Oh. Yeah, that's what I said. You idiot. In that case, perhaps she isn't dead yet. Yo, we'll take care of these guys. You go find her. And thus ends Eel's entire contribution to this conversation. Well, the guy recognizes Eel as, well, by her. Black market name, Hunter. 
He's surprised to see her here because of how badly wounded she was in their last encounter. But... Haha. <laughs> Well, for whatever reason, he's pissed off by this. Kind of like his actions played into Fia's specialty. And she's proud of herself for that, and this pisses him off. You, God, how petty. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, she's gonna punish the bad kids. Alright, wherever she is, she can't get out. But she needs to. <clears throat> oh no, monsters. Well, she can't just sit here and do nothing and get killed. So she's going to use the magic she learned to show them monsters a thing or two. And she's back in our party. Feels worried about the other two, but everyone knows he has got the spirit it takes. Mikeu, I'm coming. Isn't she cute? Ah, it's so sweet that one thing that Eo says while you look at the sea. Uh, look at the uh, what? What do you call this thing? The victory in victory in lost conditions. One thing to observe here is we finally got our full part, a pretty full party. But if you try and deploy them all right away. You go over your limit. Now, go, getting over your command limit means that all of your all of your motions are doubled. No, doubled, tripled. So your fatigue cards, for instance, would last for seven spaces, or a little over two turns. So it's a bad idea to have more people out than that. But there are ways to get it up. For instance, we grabbed this plant here, and when we did, we got two more than we had before. Pretty soon, we're going to get a deploy point. This one, or this one here. And those also gained five. And then we'll be able to deploy Karin as well. Hmm. Now, she's still got the tackle ability on. It's powerful, but it's melee, and I don't want to use it like that. Now, Mikeu may be stuck in that little 3x3 three three room with an endless supply of monsters. But for some reason, we can still feed her health potions and mana potions, so she'll be fine. Well, it's one of those things, they just can't work out of the mechanics of the game. How would they do that? Oh, this one's a little tough. This guy has got a pretty good magic attack, and normally Fia has good magic defense, but it's a darkness magic attack against which Fia is quite weak. But I'd best have a bar do this.
Bleh. I'm gonna have to go through a lot of health to get to him, though. Alright, it's time to capture things again. Good things happen when we capture stuff. Especially new stuff. Alright, I got a guy to fight there, but my first priority is getting that deploy point so we can deploy Cotterin as well. Over next to Fia. Once that's done, we can undeploy Avaro and have him come over on the west side because we need him for a bunch of stuff. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna heal him. Hmm. Eight times three. Well, if he doesn't get a critical hit, the character won't die, and I'll be able to capture him next turn. Great. Now, those magic users also have a really annoying ability. It comes up about 30% of the time. When they attack you, there's a 30% chance that your attack after that won't uh, come out. You won't get an attack after that. It's kind of like a 30% dodge, except it, if you get at least three attacks, you'll get at least one attack all the time. Alright, capture, capture, capture. Sweet. Yeah, we're good here. Now the good news is these magic users don't get a whole lot of casts of their magic. Expect this guy. Yeah, he would get one more cast, and then he'd have to rely on whatever other attacks he happens to have. Probably this one, which does no damage. Alright. Time to tie you up and throw you in a pit. Hmm, I've already got a lot of experience out of that. Yeah, Alvaro's still pretty low level. Like I said, endless supply of monsters. I mean, you kill one, one spawns in the next turn. Oh, no. I can't believe I did this. Okay, here's the deal. I should have equipped on Eel. I capture a rope, so he can capture guys here, too. Now, using the capture skill slows him down a lot so he doesn't get three attacks, but... She doesn't get three attacks. I can't believe I called her... By female... Yeah, by male pronouns. Even though she's so cute. Anyway, point is, we're capturing guys today. Ah, you have walked right into my trap. Hey. Broken blade. Hmm. Oh, that's fortuitous. I'm gonna have you all take care of that. Oh, hey, I told you about that. We captured these two deployed points, so... Bring out car and we'll be fine. Now, if he was standing right there, the gargoyle should attack him instead of wandering off. 
And there's a lot of empty space in that big room for a gargoyle to just sit around in until they feel like it. <laughs> you and Eel's bad dodging. <laughs> hmm. You just sit here. I'll show you this animation once. I got a comment last time, a couple times ago, that Mikiu's throwing a book at the enemy. I guess that's what it is, but I'm sorry I've been playing this game so long that this animation or that animation can't really get me excited any longer. You know, Himegari was the first game this studio put out that was like this. And then there was Kamidori. And I played both of those games to death. The battle animations... are alright. Mm, smashing attacks. Capture attacks. Yeah, we'll do capture attacks here. Hmm, broken hammer. Now, broken wrench. You know, one of those weapons Avaro uses. I think it's faster to go this way. Hmm. If I come and stand here, then I'm in range of that magic user over there. Well, Karin's got plenty of life, he'll be fine. Alright, let's not waste any time. No, I want to mention, in my trial run, just to screw around a bit, I decided to bring another character over here to this event. With the deploy points, at this point I could just bring Avaro in, for instance. But this right here tells us that only Eo can activate the event. Now, not that anybody else hurts the event. It just means nothing's gonna happen. Yep, he's in range. Hmm, I know how to deal with this. Another broken wrench. That was a completely different enemy, though. Now, nah, well. You know, I think one of the dumbest things I did was park Fia right in front of a magic user. But if he attacks Fia, while Conan is backing her up, then they only get one attack. Probably. Anyway, let's start bashing. Now, the guy's ability activated that time to prevent Karin from getting his second attack in. But Karin did get his first attack in. Still, at that rate, it'll take a little while to kill him. Okay. Hmm. I can counterattack. 
Actually, if he has got enough magic defense, I think I'll risk this. Oh, you see, they have magic damage reduction as well. But between... But between Fia's damage, magic damage reduction and... Now, this is the event. Obviously it's going to unlock that door, but when you see, when you go in there, you'll see that that one comes unlocked as well. Alright. Yo's here to rescue Mikayu. And she's sorry for not protecting her before. Uh, Neo got wounded so badly when Mikeo was kidnapped, but Mikeo believed she would come. Of course she'd save Mikeo. And also the other two came. Yep, of our own fear. Man, she's so quiet. Yeah. Avaro and Fia are here too. They're keeping the enemies busy. So let's hurry and meet up with them. <laughs> These two are like a princess and her knight. In spite of being, you know, two little girls and all. Still kind of cute. Come on, hit, hit, hit. Awesome. Score. Hmm. I got an item. Oh, the fire shards for upgrading. Maybe I should try these goddess cards more often. Avaro. No, he needs to heal more. Hmm. Yeah, let's do this. We'll counter with the rock shot that Karin can use. Hmm. Hmm. All right, her capture is a capture. Okay, everyone's doing all right so far. How far? Oh. Yeah, keep healing. <laughs> Karin's big smashing attack is earth elemental, and these gargoyles are resistant to earth. But still, it's a good attack. And as you can see, the feather works for our enemies as well as for us. Little bastards. Okay, 11 damage times 3 attacks. But not perfect hit rate. She'll probably kill him. Sweet. And now our badly wound, wounded Karin can... Someone. 
and Karen being badly wounded can get healed. Hmm. The gargoyle can fly, so he can choose between attacking either one of those. Hope he goes after Karen. Bastard. But anyway, Fia's got a ranged attack, so she can take care of this eventually. Hmm. Did I forget to check if our... Yeah, he's fully ready. Yes. Now, if you didn't know what I was doing, you might think that what I'm... The order I'm sending my characters around in could seem arbitrary. But I have my reasons. Right. Magic attack, that's good. Cargo stone wings. Goodies. Hmm. All right, priority is taking care of that. Damned whirlpool. Alright, she is a little bit injured, so... Mm. No, these guys pack a lot of hit power. And physical power in particular, so I'm not gonna have... Shh. So I'm not going to have... Mikeu take them... Get in uh, melee range of that, the sucker. I should have left that to Karin. Well, no big loss. Now, Eel has a lot of attack power, but not a lot of defensive power, and those guys pack a lot of punch. They can even knock, knock off a good section of Karin's life when they get a lucky hit in. So I want Eel to be pretty close to full fighting him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Eel's expression when he, she gets hurt is kind of funny. You should see the one at a quarter life. It's hilarious. Alright, now we're just about ready to move on to the next objective. No, I didn't point it out, but at the beginning of the map, the objective to win was to get Eol over to rescue Mikeu. And then we did that and the objective changed on us. Don't you hate when it does that? So yeah, the reason I deployed Avara over there was to get that mining done, for one. Healing. Hmm. You know what, Karin? Just 
Hang back for now, I don't actually think we'll need you anymore. Hmm. Change my mind. Mikay is low on spell points, so I think we'll have her heal at the fair feather as well. Mm. Yeah, see, these guys can do a pretty healthy chunk of damage to Cotton. That's one third of Karin's life. Karin's life. Hmm. That's a big... That's a large potion for stamina. Die, son of a bitch. That's a bag of gold coins. Well, that didn't happen in my trial run. Haha. <laughs> Did you see I had 18 of 20 characters captured? 18 of the 20 maximum I can capture. I happen to know that there are three more that we can capture. Hmm, how to do. Cotton, go to the tank. You stay in front. The guy we're gonna fight. Oh yeah. You saw him in the cutscene before the map. It's the guy with evil looking eyes. You know, that's a long title. I'm just gonna call him Jerkface. Smash time! As you can see, he gains life according to the damage he deals. Which is annoying. But you know, that's how it goes. Heal. Cut him a new one. And jeez, it's a good thing he was so fast. If she were slow like Karin, he would that guy would have gotten three hits in and could have killed her. And due to the special circumstances of the map, if either Eol or Mikeu dies, that's game over right there. So I need to be more careful with those two. Oh, look at that, we get to meet up with our friends. <laughs> yep. All is well. It looks like he all made it to me, Keiu, in time. Yeah, I hear she apologizes for causing trouble. Mm, here they're saying it's not her fault. In Japanese it makes more sense, but they're changing it from her fault to for... Going from because of her to for her sake. I mean, in Japanese, they're etymology, et, etymologically related, but they aren't that closely related in English. So it's a bit of play on words that gets them to say, we're doing this for you, not because of you. Yes, 
All right, thanks a bunch. So, the fight isn't over. And we'll continue going. Yeah, this guy can deal pretty good damage, even to Karin. You know what, I'm not gonna need Karin much longer. Even if he does fall in battle, it'll be alright. Curse you, a random number generator! Curse you! Hmm. Berserker's charm. Alright, give up, bastard. You can't fight anymore now. And now he's surprised we're as good as we are. And... We're not actually going to kill him, are we? Hmm, I wonder. It's not like I'm going to feel guilty about killing a bastard like you. And if we leave you alive, you could cause trouble later, so... But interrupting that thought, something big is going down. And I've already chosen in his face, because... <laughs> and this guy thinks it's about him. So he thinks Avaro has lost his nerve. Right at the end of there, he's like, what the hell are you guys looking at? That's behind you, behind you. That's behind me? It makes sense in Japanese. But anyway. Can't be anything important, I'm sure. I told you these two are just like a princess and knight. Ah, uh, anyway. I'd like to translate that to you, but it's... Got a certain articulation, eloquence, and erudition that I don't think will translate very well in English, so you're going to have to go without. Alright, so he's cursing out his boss to have used him and his men as sacrifices. I guess. And then he disappears from the picture and they don't actually say what happened. I like to think you just ran away in fear. But for all we know, the monster up and ate him. What this text box is saying is that the big figure is glaring down at us. Menacingly. So, they prepared somebody this bad for us, huh? It's a demon. A pretty high-level demon, probably. He all thinks. This isn't a coincidence, is it? It's here to take care of the traitors. And that would be a eel. But... This should be the last of their forces for this particular engagement. Yeah, eels got a pretty good knowledge of their organization. Don't worry, Miki. This time, Eel's going to protect you. But she's not just being protected. She's going to do her part, too. Yeah, how reliable. 
Alright, the two of them can do it. Yeah, the two of us. New skill for Eo. New skill for Nikeyu. Yeah, it's not just the two of you though. Well, let's look at those skills. This is... Oh. Since Mikael is out and has already moved, I can't change your skills right now. But this is the Twin Cats... Mm. Snowstorm, let's call it. This is a big damager on that guy. And this is the Twin Cats... Blade Hurricane, I'll call it. It's a decent damager. So we're here too, guys. Yeah, those two are in their own little world, but... Yeah, that doesn't change the fact that we're going to do our best too. Etc. Here's an explanation of those skills. If you see a star next to a skill, that means that you need to be standing next to a given character in order to use the skill. Now we need to defeat the upper level demon in order to defeat the stage. Damn, they just keep moving the goalposts on us. Alright, first priority is staying right where we are. Because of the way the AI is, that demon won't move until someone is in range to attack. So we're going to take care of his underlings as they move out without him. You know, I was just thinking I might let Karin die, but I haven't let a single character die in this playthrough yet, so why should I start now? Anyway. Anyway, I'd like to point out that there's a scene that I haven't seen on my playthrough that is available. And if you were playing this game, you'd probably seen it already. If you get enough deaths between Havaro and Fia, and a death in battle doesn't mean they're, you know, dead dead, it just means you need to leave the battle and come back again later. If you get enough of those deaths, then there will be a scene where a special dungeon comes up. The Deadbeat Dungeon, I believe it was called in Kamidori. But since I haven't had any characters die in the Let's Play, I haven't seen the scene and hopefully I never will. Hmm. Okay, you're fine where you are. So are you. Yeah, counterattack, that'll be good. No, oh, this will be a good opportunity. Hmm. I guess I didn't need to use that. Healing potion after all. Alright. I want to keep out of range of that demon because it has four spaces of movement. If I stood here and they had control of the room, the demon would run up and... Then I'd have to be prepared to fight it all right away. Now, you notice I walked Karin onto a trap. This particular type of trap will take two fatigue from you every turn. But if you fly or if you have... Earth flow, this is called, you don't take the damage. And that's what Karin has right here. So, ready to go. 
And Navarro's been over there fixing stuff all this time. And there we've filled up our capability. Hmm. What am I, thinking? I still haven't gotten used to the fact that I can just dismiss Cotton from wherever he happens to be standing. Bam! He's gone. Hmm. I don't think I'll use Fia, but I'll have her available. Keep you all healed. Yeah, full. And make sure they have enough SP for their skills. Oh, equip the two skill. Heals already moved. Nuts! Grrr. Okay, next time I definitely need to equip that skill for her. But Mikio's skill is a tough one to want to equip because you have to take off the body switch snowman, let's call it. If this is equipped and Mikio falls in battle, she'll come back to life, one time only, with 25% health. And that is quite literally a lifesaver sometimes. But these two are so expensive, you can't equip both of them at the same time. I wish we could. Anyway. You all should be able to take that hit. Ah. Ah, bastard. I want you to walk over here and hit her. Ah. Uh. Big, dumb, and ugly. Hmm. Now how do I get him to walk over here instead of throw out that damn attack? Well, as long as Fia's here, let's equip that healing skill. Let's equip that skill. Man, I'm such a spaz. Hmm. Well, we could start inching closer. Yeah, let's inch closer. Duh. Hmm. I thought this was a darkness type attack, but I guess it's just physical. Anyway, Eel can take that much damage. Oh, this is that special attack. Let's see it. Now, like I said, those star skills, in order to use them, you have to be standing right next to each other. But if Eel moves forward to try and attack, she can't use it because this space is two spaces away from the partner character. She could still use her normal attack, which does decent damage. But this guy has a lot of hit points, and decent damage just won't cut it. Man, I'm so worried about Eel. This is so dangerous. Let's see. They both cost seven. They both cost seven. Is that right? 
Yes. Okay, that's good. She's got 15, so she can cast both of them. Mikhail's got... Well, Mikhail's going to get her to use her skill. Man, every time this happens, I'm afraid he'll get two critical hits and he can kill Eel like that. I mean, forgetting the fact that Eel's got crazy-ass dodge. I mean, it just gets me so nervous. And here is the big damager. He doesn't have very good magic defense, comparatively speaking, and this is an element with, to which he's weak. But you notice his counter took off more than half of Mikado's life. I need to keep these guys up. Oh man. Okay. But he's gonna either charge in or cast a spell and then we're gonna kill him. Oh my god, there's something I've forgotten. Oh no. Well, still, surprisingly, Yule has resistance against this guy's ranged attack, which is good news. You know, assassins shouldn't wear white pantyhose. Where is it? Where is it? Come on. There's gotta be one. There's one. Bam. Oh man. I almost forgot to do that. I just can't let her go into battle wounded. Ready to meet your maker, buddy? When Mikaela levels up, I like her to get magic attack, most of all. And maybe speed and luck, those would be nice. Physical defense are good, I guess, but... When I'm in these things, I'm in it to attack more than I am to not defend. Or, I'm in it to attack well more than I am to defend well. Alright. So, here's most of them. You guys probably saw the door I couldn't open just like that one a couple stages back. And that's why I can't get 100% of the stage. But, if you get all the deploy points, you fix those two broken statues. You remember the ones in the room next to where Mikay was imprisoned? If you fix those, you get this. If you kill all the enemies, and if you take damage from that trap that I set Fia on here, if you take damage from one of those, you get that one. Why? Because... Hmm. Hey. Red magic ores have been pretty hard for me to find. And red mushrooms. I don't even know... Here we go! I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Erudition ele and eloquence that cannot be translated in any into English. And that's the last we'll ever hear from him. Hmm. Before I forget. I just don't like the bad lever animations. I'll show them from time to time because apparently the viewers like it, but they aren't for me. They're for you. So, we beat this high-level demon. And that wraps things up for today. <laughs> Alright, everybody's safe and everybody's happy. 
So let's talk about what we're going to do from now. From now on. Yeah. We still need to ask Eo, but we're thinking that these people who kidnapped you aren't quite done yet. No, they aren't. See? So, we need to figure out how to, what countermeasures to take against their next assault, attack, or whatever. Alright, what's the plan? Avaro's got the plan. Avaro's always got the plan. In his opinion, the reason they were able to do this is because her living location is so far from her, far from her working location. Meaning, Alright, the solution is simple, so... The two of them are get to live in the castle. And that way, they won't be able to target us, uh, target us individually as easy. Mikio objects that they don't they aren't qualified to live in a castle. Yeah, and furthermore, they've done, done nothing but cause trouble. Hmm. But Avaro's decided that they're more than qualified. I mean, she's their employee and Io is Mikio's family. And our little assassin friend wonders if it's alright for her to come too. Of course it's alright. In fact, even before this event occurred, they were thinking about it. Since the castle is Fia's, and it's also Avaro's workshop, if the two of them agree on it, yeah, they could let anybody live there. Yeah, and furthermore, it really bothered us that Mikio was so vulnerable and got herself kidnapped. So the four of us get to live together and face these difficulties together. No, oh, and they're going to be a little family, I guess. Alright, Mikio's okay. And Io says if Mikio's okay with it, she's okay with it too. Isn't she cute when she smiles? You know, I just realized it during the trial run, but the reason why Io is so vulnerable to Fia's tackle hugs and things must be because she has a vulnerability to light damage. Alright, and that wraps up that. Next up, another scene. <laughs> They're not going to show him, but I think we all know who this guy is. It's the yellow guy. You know, the guy with the yellow text? His text is always yellow. And he was bossing Kisnir around and threatened Rosaline into doing whatever Rosaline's going to do. It's that guy. Totally that guy. I'm sure it's that guy. Anyway. He's saying, now that the castle's empty, it's easy for just anybody to wander in and infiltrate the place. How careless. 
ここが中枢部か資料に残っている通りの作りだがどこか違和感がある So this is the middle parties infiltrated into There's things he was expecting but a few things that are unexpected ほうそうかそういうことか This is like that and that is like this なぜか中にいるはずのものがないこれは報告にも含まれていなかった視察に来てよかったなこれは確認しないと気づけない Alright For some reason the thing that should be inside isn't here This wasn't in the report It's a good thing I came to see it If I hadn't come to confirm it We would, I would never have known until too late さて伝わっている知識であっているならばこれで支配できるはずだが Alright, according to his knowledge With this, he can take control Now he stabs himself in the finger And on a certain magic stone in the room He lets a drop of blood fall But there is no reaction I don't have a reaction But I don't have a reaction I don't have a reaction Alright, so apparently he could have gotten control of the castle here, but the castle already has a master, so there is no reaction. He can't simply overwrite their control from here. This is a very bad thing. This is troublesome. If he secures the castle, or rather he says, if he conquers the castle, he won't be able to move it the right way, and that'll be troublesome too. もしくは、支配権を持つ主の命を奪ってしまうか。It looks like he'll have to steal the life of the current master. まあいい。方法などいくらでもある。幸い駒はいくらでもいるのだからな。このために長年準備を重ねてきた。Well, this is fine. There are many ways to do it. Fortunately, I have so many pawns to work with. I've been preparing so many long years for this. Next time, let's be prepared for all of this. And not just myself, but those guys will enjoy it as well. Totally the yellow guy, right? You guys know it's the yellow guy, right? All right, time to move Io and Mikeo's belongings into the castle. <laughs> Io's kind of nervous. Yeah, a little. Well, this is your home from now on. You'll get used to it. Look at her serious face. Look at her furrow those little brows. Anyway. This castle is too big. Too wide. If enemies infiltrate, we won't be able to notice. Yeah, there's even monsters in here. Well, we've got enough space cleared out. And each of us will be keeping watch in our own ways. Yeah, he all take, kind of takes that as her personal job. She's well suited to do it. So, 
Fio observes they don't really have that much baggage. Yeah, they've had to move uh, move residences several times. So they've had to keep their belongings light. So now that they get to settle down for a while, they'll be able to gather a bunch of belongings up. Yeah, these two start talking about interior decorating. Avaro thinks that's strange for Fia to like. Yeah, Alright, so let's get to the point. Where are these two going to live? If we have to live in the wind and the rain, it's not very luxurious. Well, she's an assassin, so. I feel knows what we're gonna do. We're gonna have the two of them sleep with her and wrap her up in their tails every night. Is this what a normal job is like? That's fucking hilarious. Uh, <laughs> For whatever reason, these two just swallow it all. And Alvaro tells them off. <laughs> okay, forget about that. You don't need to swallow everything Fia tells you. Avaro has prepared a place for you. Come have a look. When they step into this, the two of them just blink in amazement. Well, did you prepare this just for the two of them? It's amazing. This is their house? Yeah, you think of it as a present from the heart. And anyway, they've been clearing places out of the castle for a while now. This was when they repurposed as a bit of a residential space. It's a good thing you got it done in time. Mikay was really thankful. She didn't really think that she'd also get a residence out of this deal. Yeah, of course it's okay. Yo, thanks, Avaro. Says they'll live in it with great care. Mm. But didn't this take a lot of money to build? We'll pay for it. That's only natural. Look, I told you it was a present. Don't worry about payment. Yeah, they're all working together now. Yeah, Mike was excited, so she's down for whatever she whatever we ask of her. 
like those. Andy will do her best and defeat lots of guys for us. Uh, well, that's good, but it's not just battles we're going to be involved in. Although I guess that's Eel's specialty. And those two get to be excited about So, she says we're going to start redecorating. And she gets to be first. But it's Mikio's and Io's place, so we're, they aren't going to let her have the first choice of this stuff. Io's pretty quiet, but she says the I'm excited sound effect. Waku waku. Why do they even have a sound effect for being excited in Japanese? Alright, so... We get that. We get MEGA POWER! So, that's good. Yeah, with the four of them living together, they do seem a bit like a family. A web sleeping in a ravine. Hmm, interesting. All right, maps. We like maps. Here is Shinkyo no Sanro, the God's Haze. That's our ultimate destination. This describes the Yutorido Holy Mountains. And I think that's this whole region here. This is Farare Aros. A... It's a city of the Fuchsia faith in Elven territory. And down here is uh, lightning, prefecture, cloud, ocean. Anyway, however that's pronounced, in parentheses it says Dragon Tribes Territory. So, Guadalcuna's, the Guadalcuna Castle's destination is in the Influs Influs Kingdom's northern area the Holy Mountains the God's Haze Oh, I forgot to point out this is just the Kingdom's name although the Kingdom goes this far and probably three times further south Blah blah blah, Farra Rayo Rearos, the city, is the general seat of the Fiusia religion. And the elves rule the city, basically. And to that city, an angel in pure crimson armor comes to visit. So, she eventually comes to the Rune Elf, in charge of the place. Alright. So, she is a servant of the Mazteria Church. Mazteria comes up in the setting from time to time. Mazteria Gaberu. And a few others. There are major religions on the continent where the Fuchsia religion is... I've actually never heard of it outside of this game, so I think it's pretty small. Anyway. She's from the Mosteria Church. 
インフルース王国フィアスピア地方への派遣と相なりました She has been dispatched to the Fiaspia region and the Infruus Kingdom in particular. Marzteria Sinden, Seyen Shu Shotok, Kaikyu Dai Lokui, Nao Mikshuana to Bosimas, Ingo Mishiriokyu. All right, from here to here is her introduction and her titles, her place in an organization, etc. And this is It's Nice to Meet You. Or We hope to have good relations with you. I'd like to point out this segment here. She is a number six, or an angel of the sixth stratum. Are you familiar with the old Christian angel hierarchy? They play a role in these games. There are nine stratums. At the bottom are the angels, number nine. Above that, archangels and principalities, and she is at number six, one of the powers. Above that is virtues, and then four more, which I don't know off the top of my head. Anyway, she's a no sixth stratum angel, which is pretty high. In fact, I've, in all the games I've played in this, I've only seen two higher than that. Wait, three? Yes, I think there were three. One, two, three, yeah. Anyway, her name is Mikshirana. Fiusia Shinden nite daishikyo o tsutomete iru Kudo Bansu to iru. Yoroshiku negao. And a similar introduction of himself. He is the head priest of the Fiusia religion. His name is Kudo Bansu. You know what? I hate elves. Just on principle, basically. But we'll see if this guy proves himself worthy. So, in addition to being the head priest of the Fiusia Church, he's kind of the ruler of the city as well. And the rune elves of the region, more generally. Although he's still under the At least nominally on inside the Influus Kingdom. Alright, let's get the business. Mikshuana has been dispatched with to <coughs> excuse me. To research three things. And get permission from him in particular. Cool. Let's hear it. Well, first, recently the Fuchsia Church has been losing believers, and the Monasteria Church has confirmed this. Does he have any knowledge of this? The people are losing their faith and becoming degenerate. That guy. In addition to being an elf, he's an arrogant church jerk. Anyway, Mikshuana says that the power balance between the countries could be harmed if there are problems. Basically saying, if they lose their faith and the country weakens because of it, the power balance in the region will be damaged and presumably bad things happen then. So, short, short description of what she's saying is, don't screw up your political stuff just because your religion's in the crapper. Evil. Yeah, I'll take good count of that <laughs> advice. And probably he's... Probably he's good enough with his 
political machinations to do it. Anyway, Mick Shuan is going to move to the next investigation topic. The second item is in the Infidus Kingdom's southern part. There's a castle that is that can move. And that's been confirmed by the church as well. Is that something of the Infidus Kingdom's? The head priest flinches a bit. Well, to think that they still existed. Well, if it's true that that thing is a moving castle, that means that it is something that should not exist in this world. <laughs> ah, Mikshana asks what we're thinking of that is what does that mean? It's one of the world's taboos, he says. Now this goes back to the introduction. Do you remember that? There was this world created when two other worlds crashed together and merged into one. And there was a big war between three god factions. The old gods of the human world, the new god, the current gods of the elf world, and a third set of gods, which were the artificial gods. The current gods won the battle, and the other two faded out. And their... You could call them techniques or technologies. You could call them magic tech. But whatever the other two god factions were using, those have been formed into the world's taboos. I hate using the word, word taboo because it doesn't carry as strong a meaning as this one. But in the order of the world, these things are forbidden. So, the Guadalcuna Josai is... The Guadalcuna Castle is big bad news for these guys, I guess. Well, he can't confirm that the castle is actually moving. What he said applies if it is true. But Mikshuana is here to investigate, so he has permission to she has permission to go down there and investigate. And if it is as this guy speculated. You may deal with it as your church di dictates. And if it's decided that we destroy it? He has nothing to say. Well, she understands perfectly that that's basically permission to destroy it. So thanks for the permission to investigate. Now the third point. And number three. She would like permission to enter into the Infru's Kingdom Holy Ground, the God's Haze. No. No. You know what I've decided about this guy? A, he's an elf. B, he's an arrogant church guy. And C, he's rude to this cute girl. Uh, I just want to punch him in his stupid, arrogant face. Let's, uh, Oops. I pressed the enter key on accident. I was going to tell you. Mikshana said, 
kind of asks the reason, and he says, Nobody is allowed to enter the holy ground, no matter who you are. Arrogant church guy, punch in face, punch in face. And why is that? He doesn't need to tell your church. Arrogant punch, face, face, punch. Alright, she understands. With that, she's going to take her leave. This is her saying she was nervous. And you notice how her voice has changed as well. Yeah, she was kind of putting on a serious face for that guy. Well, now it appears she'll have to find some other way to get into the God's Haze. And before that, that m mobile castle. The world's taboo, huh? She'll have to investigate carefully. She thinks she'll go down and introduce herself. And she takes off to whatever her next destination is. She didn't say specific she was coming to Gualacuna Castle, but I think that's her plan. Before I leave that topic, I want to talk a bit about Mikshuana. That uh, dichotomy between how she was talking with the head priest and how she was talking to herself. She's kind of got this job as a sixth stratum angel at a young age and w with relatively little experience. I read that in her profile online. So she is not really fully confident that she's capable for the duty she, with which she's been entrusted. So in little moments like that, she's going to show a bit of vulnerability. Yeah, anyway. Back to these guys. Now we get to talk about the plans from now on. So, now that we have more people working, that means there will be more expenses. Well, that, that means that there will be more food that has to be eaten. Mikael wonders if they have to pay rent. Well, no. Probably if we made those two pay rent, then Avaro would have to pay rent as well. Because it's all Fia's place. But what he wants to say is, since we've got more people working here, we need to take more and bigger jobs and things. And furthermore, because there's more people, they are capable of doing more and bigger jobs. So we should be getting excited about that, I guess. Yeah, she says Avaro gets excited about trade and commerce and things. Yo wonders if Avaro is greedy, but Mikael thinks it's great to be interested in earning money. You know, well, I'm glad that at least one of these three is on my side. Well, in addition to earning money, as we accept jobs from people and make connections with people, 
Tia gets more power. And as she gets more power, as Fia gets more power, they move the castle more. And Fia asks, Mikio asks, why does the castle move? Do we really have to cover this plot point again? Eel's got a good point that perhaps it would be better to have a shop that didn't move if we wanted to get more business. Yeah, but there's a reason we're moving it north. We are going to the north part of the Influence Kingdom, the God's Haze. That's where Fia wants to go. So there's going to be opposition from the country, as well as the church. And the further we go, the more enemies we're going to be fighting. So, we're going to be having some battles. And more the further we go along. So we need to be prepared for... For lack of a better term, war. And we're kind of in it for the long haul. So we should be... As well prepared as possible. Yeah, and it's true, in order to get the preparations done, they'll want to earn a lot of money. Hmm. Yo doesn't talk about it much, but apparently she likes being in the, in the umbrella of a god. So she's going to try hard too. Mm, and that's a review of what we're doing. We're taking jobs, and we're making things, and we're doing battles. Here's a new map in the spring area. Here's a new map in the valley area. And here's it tailing us that we need to get Fia up to rank 7 in order to move on with the plot. Alright. Mm. Yeah. It's about time to wrap up, but I'll show you some new things we can do. First, this is the blue copper key. You remember those two doors that we located that we won't, weren't able to open before. We'll want to build this and then return to those maps. And this is clearing out more space in the castle, so we can plant more trees probably. We have upgraded weapons for all of our characters. <laughs> I was never able to make the basic weapon for Mikeu upgraded. It looks like Mikeu might have s weapons of several different elemental attributes, which would be useful. Hmm. Actually, it looks like this next one for Fia will be cold. The new one for Eo will be fire. Yeah, we're going to have a good spread of elemental effects to choose from. Hmm, a strengthened shield. May as well. Just build these because they're there. This one has a new formation, but we can only build three of them in total, and that's not enough to make the formation. Oh, choices, choices. You know what, I'm going to make this. I'd like to talk to her, but 
This is gone on long enough. I want to just get a few things done and leave. I'm always low on stone, so I'm gonna buy a bunch of stone from Detail. Now, having done that, I can make enough of these to form a new formation. And we get to see what that does. Now, I'll build one of these for the MEGA POWER! But I can't build enough to actually make the formation, so I'll forget about it after that. Alright. No, not now. I like to have a lot of the potions mixed up, but I have, like to have a few seeds. In case I want to top somebody off, but I don't want to use a potion. Man, I want to build so much stuff. Oh. I definitely want more of those. That's the red ring that boosts attack. You know, in that final battle against that demon, I should have put that on heal. Since I didn't need the capture rope or... I didn't need the capture rope equipped at that point. And we filled up the... And we filled up our capacity of these guys, so let's see what we can make of them. Three darkness attributes. Now oh, the magicians and the ghosts from... And the ghosts from that one map. Hmm. Yeah, I used a bunch of ghosts for this one here. But I, those ghosts won't be valuable any longer because they're only one star. And here I need two stars. Hmm. Okay. The darkness types added one to darkness resistance. And I've got a bunch of these goblinoids. That adds ten more hit points. Man, he's got a lot now. And now I need two star goblinoids. Meaning those guys are, I still have are probably useless. And since I capture all these gargoyles, I can do this. Adding three to physical defense. Ha ha ha. He is becoming a better tank all the time. So the rest of these guys. Mostly useless. If I want to capture more, if I get the opportunity to capture more magic beasts, they will be able to be... Where is it? Maju, Maju. Here they are. Plus two agility. That would be really useful. Cutting is slow as hell, I'll tell you. But that's about all I've been able to find. I mean, this is angels, this is mythical beasts. And most of these other things require two stars. Giants! If I find any one star giants and demi humans, holy elemental. Yeah, I don't. There's nothing but the magic beasts that I know we can capture right now. Alright, I haven't even seen this one because I know that this is where I'm ending the video. So, thank you for tuning in and I will see you tomorrow, YouTube. You know what, I'm gonna delete this old save. And... That's it.